brag about Jubilee all over the world, and, and I just want people to see Jubilee. I know that there's a sincere and genuine love for the Lord here in Jubilee, and I just want to be back home with my family and with my pastor and with the congregation and with pure joy in the choir, and that, that's, that's what I wanted. A friend of ours said, uh, I know a fella who sounds a lot like Lou Rawls. And I said, what's his name? He says, well, his name is Ron Cannoli. And I don't know how many times after a service, it just happened recently, right after a service here, we go to the piano and Ron goes, what do you think about this? And here comes this song that eventually will be on one of his albums. And it's just a gift of God. I prayed and asked God when I was carrying him. And I found out I was pregnant. I rubbed my stomach and said, Lord, let this child sing your praises. When I think of him singing practically all over the world, my heart is filled with joy. I just thank the Lord that we were brought up from babies and we were taught that this is the way to go, that Christianity is the way to go, that Jesus is who we serve from Jump Street ever since we came out. I'm believing, I'm hoping and praying that they will see the family unit, that they be encouraged to know that uh, no matter where they've been, where they've got, what they've gone through, that there's hope, that God can just bring, you know, families together, fathers and sons together, just bind them together with love, that there's nothing's impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you my father, Ron Cannoli. Welcome home. Welcome home. Oh! 
yes, yes. Now, for here at Jubilee, we probably represent every people group on the planet. I mean, if you look around at a choir and look around at those folks who raised their hands just a little while ago, you know, you'll know that, that we're every different color and every different racial group and whatever. And so we represent that, the nations of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we represent the nations of the world. And so tonight as we sing this next song, which is one of our favorite songs here in Jubilee, it says, Praise the Lord, all nations. Hallelujah. He's delivered us. He's brought us out. Hallelujah. He's, he's saved us. Yes, he has. Oh, yes. 
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, I love to praise him. All of my days I'm going to praise him. You've met Pastor Dick just a little while ago. One of the things that I am uh, really blessed by is the fact that God has allowed me to write songs from out of his teachings. Now, he's written several books on spiritual warfare. And, and uh, while he's preaching, while he's teaching, I'm usually somewhere writing something that he's writing about what he's teaching and preaching. Now, now recently he had this sermon, very unique sermon, uh, and the, 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 the content of the sermon was this. Now, we all know that Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the, the A and the, correct. <laughs> But now, he's the A and the Z, but now between the B and the Y, you know, sometimes you feel like you're going through hell, don't you? Now, <laughs> now the, the content of the sermon said this, if you catch hell, don't hold it. And, it, and if you're going through hell, don't stop. <laughs> Now, if you're going through hell, let me tell you what you do. You go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't stop. You go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't stop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. One more time. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going to hell, don't stop. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going to hell, don't stop. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going to hell, don't stop. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going to hell, don't stop. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you. Now the Bible says this, you need to learn this. The greater is he that is in you, and he that's in the world. The greater is he that is in you, than he that's in the world. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that rises against you, you shall condemn. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now this is what you do when you're going through hell. Come on now. You go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them what to do, choir. Tell them. Do what? Do what? Don't stop. Don't stop. Go ahead. Yes. Because you have.
<laughs> now the reason why I brought my guitar out is because I, I've got a friend uh, he's from Jamaica yeah man <laughs> and his name is Lester Lewis he's a tremendous songwriter and he's written a song that just kind of has gotten into my heart into my mind and it just kind of stays there and, and this song that he wrote it's called uh, uh, Jesus is the Winner Man. Yeah, yeah, man, you know. <laughs> now, I want you to sing this song with me. Okay, but now, when you sing it, you, you've got to sing it with an island attitude, you know. Everybody say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're going to big up the Lord, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, Tom, are you ready? Everybody got that island attitude? Okay, here we go. It is such fun to see, a fun to see Satan lose. It is a fun to see, a fun to see Satan lose. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man all the time. Go in a man, go in a man, go in a man. Jesus is go in a man, go in a man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, Tom. Stop. Now, some of you are trying real hard. Okay, but you've got, you've got to get that island attitude, you know? Everybody say, Jesus is, Jesus is. the winner man. The winner man. No, not the wiener man. That's Oscar Mayer, not, you know. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is, Jesus is the winner man. The winner. Jesus, is Jesus is the winner man. The winner. All right, here we go. Let's do it again, Tom. All right. Yeah. Hallelujah. It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Satan lose. It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Satan lose. I'm on the winning side. I am on the winning side. Go winning side. Go winning side. I am on the winning side. The winning side all the time. In Matthew chapter 2, Satan lose. When Jesus was born in a manger and in the wilderness, Satan lose again. At the mouth of transfiguration, yeah, it is such fun to see, such fun to see. Satan lose, it is such fun to see, such fun to see. 
another one of my mother's sons. <laughs> That's my brother Mark. He's going to sing. He's going to help me sing a song a little bit later on. Uh, Second Chronicles 714 is a favorite scripture of mine. The Lord said to his people, he said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven he said I will hear and I will heal their land amen, amen. amen. our land needs healing amen, amen. The 
This is what the Lord said. If God's people. to seek his that serving the Lord ought to be fun. And and praising him ought to be fun as well. Amen. He said, he said, the Bible says that in his presence there is fullness of joy. Amen. Now, I think there are three signs of joy. The signs of joy, that's the first one, is laughter. Amen. Laughter is the first one. The next one, I think, is singing. Yeah. Amen. When people have joy, they have a song. Amen. Yeah. And I think the third one is dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. And when we have the joy of the Lord, we ought to have a dance in our step. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. In the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. And dancing is going to be the order of the day. Yes, it is. Oh, 
I'll elaborate. I got a new heart, a new life, a regenerated mind, and a future with him that can be measured by time. I'm gonna hang with him for the rest of my days. As long as I can speak, I'm gonna give him praise. So get up with me and get into this thing. Put your hands in the air and give it up for the king. Testify today of your goodness to me, Lord. I 
testify today You've been faithful to your word For you've been so very good to me I'm yours exclusively That's why I testify today I'm yours Lord, I'm yours I'm yours Lord, I'm yours For you've been so very good to me I'm yours exclusively That's why I testify today I testify today Of your goodness to me, Lord I testify today been faithful to your word. Yes, you've been so very good to me. You've made my life complete. That's why I testify today. I'm I guess you'll notice I cry, huh? Because God's been good to me. And, and I'm not ashamed either. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm going to cry anyway. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Mary. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thanks. And I better hang on to it, Brian. Because I'm going to talk about my, my son, Tony, my oldest son. Uh, he inspired this next song. And uh, I guess I need to hang on to this Kleenex because he makes me cry a lot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but as you notice, uh, that my, my, uh, my oldest son, that's my oldest son, Tony, earlier who was doing some of the announcements and uh, exhorting you to praise the Lord, the one with the excess of hair. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I, uh, he inspired this next song. We were living in Oakland, California. Uh, it's back in the mid, what was it, in the late 80s? Mid, early 80s. Early 80s. And, and uh, he was 16 and a half years old. And then one morning he woke up and had this amazing discovery. 
just a truly amazing discovery, people. He woke up one morning and discovered he knew everything. I mean, you know, it just, it just came on him like a flood, you know, just discovered he knew everything. And the relationship that, the special relationship that we had had as father and son began to kind of deteriorate. And, and uh, uh, it was not too long after that, that that we just couldn't see eye to eye about very many things at all. And at 16 and a half years old, he, like many other young people in California, just kind of took off, kind of did his own thing. Left home and caused my wife and I to, to really, really uh, pray. I mean, you know, we really engaged in some spiritual warfare, even though we didn't really call it that at the time. All we knew that, is that we needed to pray for that kid. And we prayed for him, and he was gone for several years, and he would call every now and then, collect, by the way. <laughs> you know, let us know that he was still alive. And, uh, and then I was so glad that after so many prayers and after so much intercession, after three, three and a half years, got a call from him. And he was in Anaheim, California. He said, it was collect too again, by the way. And said, Dad, I want to come home. And uh, my first inclination, you know, was to say, hey, you know, you, you, you made that bed, you sleep in it, or you, you know, this is your decision, you know, you live with it or whatever. But I'm glad that my heart overruled my head. And I found myself saying, yes, come on home, son. And upon his return, I was inspired to write this song, and it's, it's, I've sang it several times at different places. It's not exactly a praise and worship song, but it's a song that has blessed and touched the hearts and the lives of many people who have gone through some of the very same things that my wife and I have gone through when we've had family struggles and family trials and tension, uh, you know, with, with, within the family. The song is called Welcome Home, and I want to share it with you. The road was straight and narrow Leading to my father's house The gates were open wide Awaiting my return Near them stood my father With his arms stretched out to me With tears on his face I heard him say Welcome home I've missed you so much My heart has been broken Since the day you went away Welcome home I'll prepare a celebration Come take your place beside me You've been gone so long Welcome home His hand was on my shoulder As we walked up to the house Mom peeped out the front door And then came running out She threw her arms around me And squeezed me like only mama can And then kissed me on my cheek And with my face held in her hands She said, welcome home How I long for this moment I've prayed for you each night Since the day you went away Welcome home I'll prepare a place for you My prayers have been answered Thank you, Jesus Oh, thank you, Jesus Welcome 
Now, I want to bring up a couple of guys who have not left home yet. <laughs> but I've been thinking. No, no, no. I, I want to bring to you my, my two youngest sons, Samuel and Ronald. Hallelujah. Who love the Lord. And they're going to sing for you right now.
Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you. Give it up for my boys. Hallelujah. <laughs>
give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's go continue in a, just in a spirit of worship. Yes, Lord. Oh, we bless you. center of my joy, Lord, all that's good and perfect comes from you, you're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. You're the center of my joy. Of all that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. When I'm lost by direction, you're the compass for my way. You're the fire and light when nights are long and cold. Through the sadness, you are the laughter that shadows on my fears. When I'm down and out, your hand is there to hold. You're the center of my joy. And oh, oh, that's good. All is good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. You're the hope for all for I all do. I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. The simple things in the life, you're the music in the meadows and the stream. You're in the voice, in the voice of my children, my children, in my family and my home. You're the source and finish of my heart.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The Bible says there's a city made for a square, and we're going to be going there.
A palace of brains, a throne of thanksgiving, made for the king of Available on audio and video from Integrity Music.